hello leo welcome to your mid-month reading this is for leo sun moon rising and venus please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you this reading holds true from the 15th to the 31st of october and as always it is a general reading it may or may not resonate for all of you please take what resonates and leave the rest now before i start your tarot i will be pulling out archetypes and since this is a love reading i will be looking at both your energy and your person's energy all right stubborn archetype deck all right the mirror for you and the mountain for your person who else got the mountain i think it was gemini's person if i'm not wrong okay i'm gonna get you a wisdom of the oracle and a monology before i talk about these treasure island expect powerful change interesting all right so with the mirror archetype it's a very unusual archetype to get it's not it's really literally not what it seems when you get this archetype so when i was reading the book about uh what this could mean it said that the mirror contains trickster energy okay sometimes when you look at yourself in the mirror you could find yourself comparing yourself to others whether this is your physical body it's your career it's your relationship and when this archetype pops up it is asking you to focus inward be self aware and to a, to to an extent it can even talk about something as simple as a social media detox because you know what we see online is definitely not what is true because um, you know i feel like a lot of people have been uh i'm just going to get very very basic here leo people post things that they want to show they will not very rarely do people post reality right and that makes us question our self worth it it makes us question uh, compare our life with other people so since this is a relationship reading it's a love reading i feel like a part of you may be comparing your relationship to other people but you need to realize that no relationship is perfect okay everyone has their ups and downs and the things you see are, are all the bright and shiny things you don't see what's hidden deep down within that union so embrace everything that you have within this union all right uh when it comes to your person is very interesting you have a lot of cards that okay so with the treasure island and the mountain the energies are very similar let me let me talk about it so with the mountain card i feel like your person could be very ambitious okay um and but what this archetype asks one to focus on is not just to climb and reach the apex to reach the summit of the mountain and consider that to be a success i think it asks the person concerned to focus inward again like for you because you see that little mine here and you see this person kind of you know going at it looking for gems this just shows that all of that treasure all of that goodness is exactly where you are it could be it could mean that you're right in the middle of that journey to accomplishment but you need to stop and look at that mine and realize that gem is within so i think your person could be feeling like like you they could be comparing and they could be feeling like they want to reach heights within this relationship and they want more than they have but they need to sit back a little bit and realize that that gem of this relationship is still it's it's already there it's already within this union now when it comes to your treasure island wisdom of the oracle it describes your relationship to be a treasure okay and i feel like it says no matter how when i was reading about it it said that no matter how long you and your partner have been together it's like you're always discovering hidden gem gems within your relationship and within each other so it's asking you to be assured that your partnership will bring you those rewards and those valuable lessons as well and it it asks you to keep your heart open 
so i think a part of you needs to realize and treasure what you have within your relationship it's so beautiful how cohesive all your major cards have been um it's basically asking you to stop thinking of your relationship as a race okay center yourself both of you uh this is for any cross watchers watching as well and treasure what you already have and what you've already built and hone upon that you know add to it now expect powerful change i'm not sure what this is about just yet but let's get your tarot spread and we shall see oh the sun was about to pop out ace of swords all right the tower this guy has been popping up a lot a lot of planets have been in retrograde that are now going direct so tower moments are very very likely to happen because there's suddenly that fast paced action and a lot of conversations are coming about two aces leo wonderful ace of pentacles all right seven of swords hmm interesting nine of swords okay let's get one more for your person six of swords also swords energy here for your person to an extent for you as well when i get you an outcome or a mutual energy page of pentacles okay soft i like this before i clarify let me just get started started uh um, now with the ace of swords i feel like some kind of clarity has either come in or will come in for you in the next two weeks and this could be initiated by a conversation or just by self reflection uh with the tower card something shakes up your foundation whether this is personally or within this union we'll see what that is about when we clarify with the ace of pentacles there is again that new seed for progress a new seed for growth a new seed that has to be planted with good intentions in order to see success uh for your person we have the seven of swords it this is a very this is an energy of trying to hide something okay it's i kind of see this as the minor arcana of the moon card um you could be dealing with the pisces i don't know why i just got that but it's like your person is Okay, I'm going to move forward so that this makes more sense. With the 9 of swords, I feel like your person is in a lot of they're very anxious about something. They're having sleepless nights. And a lot of the times, the 9 of swords pops up when that person is particularly guilty about something. So maybe a conversation is due here Leo where you need to probe your partner a little bit and ask them what it is that is bothering them or what it is that they are keeping secret. Uh, okay, it doesn't necessarily have to do uh, have to relate to your relationship. Could it could very well just be about themselves. Uh but something is bothering them here which they are not talking about. I think I've said this to you in the past. Is you dealing with a very secretive person Leo? um i i honestly i i don't know but i'm getting a very similar energy from your previous readings uh six of swords the good news is that they're willing to sixes always talk about cooperation about equal give and take in 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 most cards and the six of swords talks about cooperating with each other and moving on to calmer waters okay and with the page of pentacles It's a very soft energy because I feel like you have the ace of pentacles here which does trump the page of pentacles but I think if you balance each other out to an extent you're both coming in with that energy of wanting to take baby steps to make the foundation of this relationship stronger okay Oh yeah I excited dropped a bunch of cards never mind let's clarify I'm using the Nicoletta Ciccoli mini to clarify what did I say the moon the minor arcana of the moon and i said you could be dealing with a pisces and here we are so i was going to say that a lot of the major arcana i mean mo all major arcanas don't have the words written on them so i may have to consult a little booklet 
so please excuse that distraction if it does arise uh, we have the king of swords clarifying the tower I want another one for this the knight of pentacles all right let's get a clarifier for the ace of pentacles the fool I like that okay seven of swords unbelievable Leo the seven of swords clarifying the seven of swords I love it when the universe does that it's like a little pat on my back that oh you know I said what I said stop asking anyway we have the page of Pentacles again clarifying the nine of swords I'm gonna get another one what is this that they're trying to hide I need to see what this is hang on a minute the illustrations are very surreal they're very different from the original right away so I have to always consult Oh, the world I see wait I want another one I don't do this very often Leo but I want to be thorough let's see what this is mm, the hang on no mm, the star all right Let's clarify the Six of Swords. The Three of Swords. Alright. Let's get two for the Page of Pentacles. Page of Swords. And the Six of Cups. Okay. Leo. A conversation happened that left you in the dark. A conversation happened which was not very clear or will happen that is not going to be very clear to you. It will bring about some fears, unknown fears that you didn't know you had and there will be a bit of mystery surrounding it and that does not surprise me because your person is coming with that very mysterious energy. Um, if this has already happened, I feel like you shouldn't be surprised because it is written it is written for that to happen for you uh, and the reason might not be clear right now but I feel like it will be give it a little time now when it comes to the tower it's being clarified by the king of swords and the page of pentacles I feel like there was logic involved or there will be logic involved where you could be asking for facts and you're not getting them the king of pentacles moves very slowly and the king of uh, the knight of pentacles moves very slowly and the king of swords is even though he's not a knight he's a very fast-paced action-oriented uh, logical king and there's no gender in tarot please just take the energy with you so there is a bit of a contrast in energies here and i think that's what led to that tower moment and mind you tower moments don't necessarily have to i mean they sound more dramatic than they really are sometimes they can just be small hiccups within relationships okay that kind of destroy that particular small foundation one of the foundations that your relationship is built upon and you know it gives you a chance to renew that energy and work upon it and make it better so um, I feel like you and your person are on slightly different playing fields at the moment. Uh, Ace of Pentacles being clarified by the Fool. You want this to work. You want to take that leap of faith towards stability when it comes to your person. You know, you want to build upon, like I said, you know, when those walls come, that foundation comes crashing down, you have to rebuild. I feel like whatever happens, you want to let the past be in the past. And... It's a beautiful energy, but I feel like I'm guided to tell you this, Leo, don't brush things under the rug, okay? I'm not asking you to constantly pick and probe. If your person is not comfortable sharing a few things, give them their space. Everyone's entitled to their own privacy, you know, single or committed. So maybe strike that balance, okay? Tell them that you, you know, th they should trust you and that you just want to serve their highest good and you're there if they need any help whatever this is regarding i'm not getting like a bad energy from this like you know that there, there's some kind of cheating involved in, involved or there's some betrayal i don't get that i feel like this is separate 
from your partnership it's something that's happening in their independent life so you're coming with a lovely energy of being very supportive and you know wanting to take leaps of faith towards them regardless of how they're approaching you your person seven of swords seven of swords they're hiding something i i don't know what it is let me get another card i was hoping the clarifier would tell me but the seven of wands yeah you know what is so interesting to me leo when i was asking again for a clarifier i suddenly got that energy of stop asking I, i'm getting chills right now because it's like the universe was telling me why are you probing i told you not to because the seven of swords was clarifying the seven of swords and i should have stopped right there now the seven of wands is that pushback whether it is from your person's energy or it's from the universe telling me to stop it's something that i'm not supposed to know and something you're not supposed to know right now like i said everyone is entitled to their own privacy so there is a wall being put up here and i'm sorry i can't give you more um the nine of uh, swords your person is upset that they can't share this with you there is anxiety here um with the world card card and the star card i feel like there's a lot of there's a lot relying on this particular secret for your person i have a feeling it has something to do either with their family or with their career it's like they're trying to complete something they're trying to heal something um and it's like they feel like they're not capable enough just yet it's like they're just they're coming across as a page like the page of pentacles someone who is still learning so i feel like till they have completed whatever it is that they are after and till their wishes have been fulfilled in that particular department and they have probably progressed from a page to a king i feel like they will want to keep this to themselves and i think maybe we need to respect that right leo and i think just expect them to come to you with the truth when they're ready i'm sorry i know people come to tarot readings for clarity uh, but sometimes the clarity that you're seeking it's it's not the right time for you to gain it all right divine timing plays a huge role in in all our lives so um six of swords clarified by the three of swords they are heartbroken about something <sighs> going to get another one so many clarifiers i'm getting out for you leo i just want to be thorough eight of wands hmm i think once they get over whatever this painful cycle is for them in their career or their family or whatever it is external to you they will come forward they will communicate and we have two cards of action here two cards of movement six of swords and eight of wands and i think they need to overcome whatever grief this is and i don't think there's much you can do about it i think you can just be their rock and and tell them that you're there for them i feel like this is more a reading for your person than for you i'm sorry but i have to honor what i have on the table um all right now for the page of pentacles we have the page of pentacles again uh i feel like you're trying to match their energy and you're already taking the advice i was talking about we have the page of swords so the page of swords is is not always a bad energy it's an energy of seeking the truth yes for sure but it doesn't necessarily mean it's not the knight of swords you know it's not someone who rushes forward and says tell me the truth tell me the truth i want to have a conversation you know it's not that energy it's a softer energy of i want to know the truth i want to be illuminated about what's going on but at your pace you know what i mean and with the six of cups i feel like this is a soul union and that is why you're both being very balanced about this you're both giving each other space and honoring each other's privacy i think that's lovely with the expect powerful change card i feel like when your person does get over whatever it is that is bothering them your relationship as a whole can move forward you know because we have so many aspects in our lives that we need constant that that need constant attention you know and a part of your person does realize that this relationship is a treasure i'm not saying they're taking you for granted but i think they are, they know that once they get out of whatever this is you will be there patiently waiting for them all right it's a lovely reading i like it for you 
Have a beautiful rest of the month, Leo. See you soon.